So I looked online for a, a way to get this. My hot water heater wasn't heating, so I had to try to get this off. I had the hardest time getting this thing off. I tried all kinds of things to, to try to twist this thing off. I tried the little wrench that they gave. Don't buy this. This thing's a piece of junk. Don't waste your time. Total waste of time. I talked to plumbers. They said don't even, no plumbers even use this. If it's hard to get off, complete waste of time. You can see here, I tried all kinds of stuff. I tried a pair of vice grips. I put a, a breakaway bar on it and I just couldn't get enough bite. I, be careful, you don't wanna booger this thing up. I was close. Turns out that there was lime in the bottom. I had so much lime in the bottom that lime was covering was up to that element down there. And so this whole piece was covered in lime. So when I tried to turn it, it was just cemented in, in lime. So the plumber said that I needed to get a one and a half inch socket. So the first time I went to the, to the auto store, so I went to the auto store, uh, Home Depot didn't have one this big. I went to the Auto Zone or O'Reilly Auto Parts. Go to your auto store parts, and get a one and a half inch socket. Now the first one I got was a star bit. The star bit did not work, so don't get that. It will actually turn uh, and round off this element. So go and get one that is just like this, a, 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 a six sided, one, two, three, four, five, six points. It has to be like this. I think this one maybe was like 15 or 20 bucks at the auto store fits in there perfectly. All right, so that was thing one. Next was I needed an impact wrench because my drill wouldn't work, it wasn't powerful enough. I would try your drill first on this. If you have a powerful drill, it may it may break it free, but because it was locked in to line, I just didn't have enough power. So I needed an impact wrench, which I didn't have one, so I went to Home Depot, I bought the cheapest impact wrench. It wasn't strong enough, so like I tend to do on most things, I got uh, this big daddy, which I would not recommend. This one's for what it is. This is an automotive impact wrench. I, the reason I wouldn't recommend this is because it's not a tool that I can use regularly, but I was tired of going back and forth to the store. So I went to Harbor Freight, picked this up, and I was looking for the torque here. And this having a impact wrench that has uh, the bolt breakaway. I'm not saying that you need to get this big deal. I would get something that maybe you could use on other projects. Put this bad boy on there. I touched this. I just literally touched it. Boom. When I did that, this thing broke free. By the way, water was pouring out everywhere. So just remember that uh, you need to be ready with this broke it away. Literally two seconds, this thing was out. The other one i put the new element in so anyway hope that helps you again this is a one and a half inch socket that you're looking for and you want a type of uh impact wrench torque uh again you don't have to use an automotive one like i've got here but something with some torque breakaway power put that socket on there and i bought that socket put the socket on there tapped this impact wrench here and when i did Boom, it came off and uh, the rest is history. Hope that helps you.